In extremely cold or extremely hot places, you can use high-density polystyrene for insulating water boilers and storage tanks. Such material has a good self-supporting capacity and can be easily cut with a normal carpenter's saw. For circular or irregular cuts, it is better to make a template first with a piece of newspaper. Then draw the pattern on the polystyrene and use a jigsaw normally used for handcrafts. Do not use electric tools on polystyrene since they are too fast and distort the cut. This material is self-supporting and can be put together with screws as you would do with wood. Of course, it is not as hard as wood, but holds together quite well. Again, do not use an electric screwdriver. To put two pieces together, it is practical to use drywall type screws with a length of two and a half times the thickness of the polystyrene, so they will hold better. In some cases, it is desirable to use screws and also glue the parts with transparent silicone. This provides for a better seal and stronger joints. Besides, the polystyrene can be easily protected with vinyl paint, preferably white, to avoid overheating and decay due to sunlight. I lined this water boiler with polystyrene a couple of years ago and it has perfectly withstood sunlight, rain and even hail. As you can see, I left a space of about half an inch at the bottom to provide an air inlet for combustion. An important thing in the case of water boilers is preventing the insulation from being directly exposed to the heat from the boiler chimney since heat damages polystyrene. Thanks for watching. I hope this is of help.